Hey, I'm Pedro, I'm here at Twaddle. It's our third birthday. We've got our main man, Sol, who's come over from France. This is uh, Christian, one of the residents and uh, what, owners? Is it owner, owner, owners yeah, of Twaddle? Yeah, owners. Do you own it? It's been a long time owning it. Yes, but yes, yes I own the night. You own the night. when I didn't really have a lot else going and like, yeah. I was kind of like, you know, we, 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 were, we were in England at a time when, you know, people weren't sure whether they could make money from putting out music and, and all this kind of thing. And, and I just thought, you know what, I've got all these amazing artists around me and that I haven't got any tracks out, so why don't, why don't I go to the bank, get a loan and put some music out? Basically, yeah, good idea, yeah, yeah, it's really good. Oh, I thought it was good. Idea. Right. It's worked, it is good. Yeah, definitely. Boots in the pudding, right? Isn't it? What can you tell about? I mean, you've got quite a special relationship with Twaddle. I mean, you were the first big book in the main. What can you tell us about the Twaddle? The thing with Twaddle is, is that like I've known the boys for a long time, and it's the only place that I get to kind of just do what everyone really? in the UK. Yeah, I think it's like. Not, 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 not whatever you want, but like, it's, reason, it, 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 it feels like I'm playing in my front room to a load of mates here, yeah. rather than it's like some like hectic kind of like, you know, like, rush in, rush out, yeah, exactly, you know, from, from everything, you know, like, they're, they're just really, really good guys, and the, I've seen them as bits, yeah, yeah definitely. do you like Leeds? I do like Leeds, and I like, I used to come to Leeds quite a bit when I was younger. I used to come to Back to Basics, yeah. I saw Mark Farina and Derek Carter and people like that. And I know Leeds is really hectic and really, you know, all the politics and all that kind of thing. But, you know, these lads have like, you know, they just throw a party that's just about good music. This is live from Total on New Groove. 
well? Yeah, perfect. How are you finding late? Really nice actually. Good, yeah. good welcome from everyone. Like my my plane was late. Well, okay. You know, I have this, this dinner in the hotel and now I just get in the party. <laughs> Like I play in Chiba and some party like this and like last month was my first party out of London, like Manchester. And what do you think to our London? It's very different. So, you know, there's, a, there's very much an air yeah, south yeah. divide in England. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and I especially feel that it's not just about the house music, but it's about the singing of the people, you know? When uh, I was there during the bank holiday, so it's really like every young people, girls and guys outside, they're like, it's party or just to drink, the pub. You know, all the girls are really fancy, like dress, not, 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 not jeans or something. All the girls are ready, you know, we prepare for like, like, like European girls and like English girls, European girls. Yeah. They wear, they wear yeah. comfortable, practical clothes. In the UK, they don't. It's crazy because sometimes it's colder than everywhere, but they get the, the shorter dress in the world, you know? That's, that, that's kind of welcoming stuff. <laughs> Derek Carter stuff all from England and all the things from from Rudy Man until today like the car. Like you said, you know, you are classically trained musician, like right? yeah, yeah. The groove the groove's important. Whatever kind of music you try to produce or play. Sure, sure, sure. You know, for me, for me, you know, like the house music is like so vast and you have so different ways to make it. Like uh, for me the thing is cool in this kind of stuff where you can walk alone yeah. and you're totally free of doing what you want, if you want to make some sound, electronic sound, mix between different acoustic and electronic music. That's the point really interesting to me in this kind of stuff, you know? I don't have a value, like, yeah. not, you know, Got nothing to stop me to be okay. Like been, been yeah. like, yeah. yeah. I feel free about this and that's cool actually. And I have another freaking chick probably like perhaps after the summer and I have a remix for Anthony Collins album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming out soon with a low school remix on the same record. So it's good. Lots of remix and different things to do. And I, I have a label too. Trying to work with my, my friends like Bo, Bo So do you want to tell us a little bit about the next release you got? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the next one uh, it will be next month. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, the end of this month, our uh, early tune is a new EP on the Matthias Norman label, the Moon Arbu. And uh, the name of the EP is uh, Musem EP. Yeah. Uh, M U S M E P. Can you and recommend it to everyone? I hope like people like it. You know, and there is like three tracks like danceable and groovy stuff. And I hope like uh, the people like my first EP, like the double room EP, we like this one. It's perhaps more forward into the thinking of bass and groove. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope everyone can like it. Sure. All good, man. Thanks. Thanks for having us. Thank you. 